Okay guys, real quick, what is this video? This is the video that I wish I had day one when I started playing this game. If you wanna take in a brand new beautiful game and you wanna explore and be surprised, come back to this video later. But if you're like me and you just wanna be the best right out of the gates and you ain't got time for 10 playthroughs like we did when we were teenagers, then this is the video for you. This is how to be the absolute best in Baldur's Gate 3 starting out. I try to avoid all cutscenes and most dialogue. This is strictly getting the best gear, permanent buffs and pure efficiency. With that, let's get started. We're going to be the one of the least popular races, but the most popular builds, starting out as a Geth Yankee Paladin. All right, everybody doesn't like the Geth Yankee. I don't know why, I love them. I think my guy looks great. And starting off, here we are at the Nautiloid. So you're gonna wanna come up this elevator in the first room, come over here, pass a speech check, and then you're gonna get this brain as your first pet. Just another little addition to the crew. Okay, and when you are in combat, guys, I'm gonna give you a tip. It's best if you jump towards things and then walk to attack them. That way you're gonna get a lot more reach out of every turn and speed up the slow process of the turn-based mode. All right, so jump, then attack with everybody. Unless it's a ranged character, and then it doesn't matter. But. See? Jump, attack. And once you kill all of these things, guys, make sure that you search them all. You're going to get a couple weapons and crossbows. So you can equip you and Lazel with a crossbow. Okay, so after you've done that, we're going into the next room. There's going to be a bunch of people on these little chairs. You can just kill them for some free XP and a couple items. Why not? Okay, then moving ahead to the room on the north side, you can just come in here. And right at the beginning right here, there's a key for a chest in the room we were just in. And then at the end here, grab this. And that's to get Shadow Heart out of her pod. Don't forget the chests all around. And here's the chest where we needed that key for. And now I'm just going to be releasing Shadow Heart. Come on, baby. We got shit to do. Okay, so for this next part, I'm a paladin, so I happen to have this. But if you're not a paladin, you're going to want to equip Shadow Heart with the command spell. So that we can get a sword in the next area. Okay, come on ahead. That's the sword we're getting, the Everburn Sword. So walk Shadow Heart up to her. And then when you're in range, just use that spell. Save right here, in case you miss. And command drop. Okay, and then on the next turn, just pick up that sword with whoever you want to wield it. In my case, it's me. Okay, so then just run to the end, click that pedestal. This is where the game begins, okay? We got our Everburn Sword. And we are looking good. Okay, so from here you're just going to walk straight ahead. Shadow Heart's going to be lying here on the beach. Do not go to your camp as soon as you spawn in or Shadow Heart will disappear. Okay, walk straight ahead to this dock. Move to the right. There's a backpack, couple items here. I just wanted to say anytime that you find food, guys, in anything, just send it right to your camp. Because you're not going to eat it in combat. And that's how you full rest. So anytime you see food, send her to camp. Okay, so now you're going to walk straight up ahead over here. There's a thieves tool here, aka lockpick. Um, and then right over here is one of the first fast travel points. So you're just going to want to walk up, unlock that, come over here. Save your game, because there's a fight ahead. I just happened to level up. So here we go. Great weapon fighting, that's personal preference. And now I got these two abilities. And that's my build for Shadow Heart, just to heal the team. Okay, now you're going to want to come in here and just win this little fight. I'm not going to bother showing it. And then just come up and turn to your right. 
Come over here, search this guy, turn to your right again, and here we can find Gale. My buddy. Watch the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically. What the fuck? A hand? Anyone? Should I put my dick in his hand as a joke? His name is Gale, after all. Okay, now we got our buddy. <laughs> Don't get demonetized. Um, okay, I'm just making him a necromancer. And powers off the bat. Just those two. And this is my basic build for a wizard. Come on, Harry. Okay, so you're going to turn to the right, walk straight up the hill. Talk to these guys. I just want to say if you're a paladin, guys, and you decide to kill these people, you will break your oath this early. So I had to talk them out of this. Be gone, or I'll kill you. Come, I miss her. Now. Enough gawking. Get me down. Okay, shoot Lizelle's cage, get her out of there. And now we got the squad. Okay, so now we're coming this way. Save your game here. I chose just to talk these guys out of the fight because, you know, I'm a low level and I didn't want to struggle too hard before going through this ruin. So, yes, there's a way to get through right there, but I prefer to come through this door. Because then you're not dropped into a huge fight immediately. Hey, it's your boss, buddy. Let me in. You sound a bit shaken, boss. Hang on while I find the key. Gotcha, bitch. Okay, so kill him. Take whatever you want. Come over here. There's a lot of food on this table. You can send to your camp and or pick up whatever. Just gave my little team a boost there. And now we're coming through here for our first real fight. Jump through the door if you can't get them all through. Alright, we got everybody. Get up, Gale. Pussy. Search them all. Take all the good stuff. Walk straight through the back. Activate this so that you can go through the door. Alright, so once you walk through that door, that we just pull the lever to unlock. You're going to come through here, turn to your right, save, and make sure your companions stay far back so you can just grab this stuff and walk back this way. Alright, now we're in this room. Okay, so all of these skeletons will come to life. So you're going to want to take all of their weapons and divide your crew around the room so that when they come, you're ready save before you press this button all right once they all come to life and you've beaten them all we're just going to come back in the room where we press the button to enter and in this chest over here there's an amulet that you can wear that will let you speak with the dead so any fallen enemy that's highlighted in green you can go up and speak with them and in this chest, we find our buddy, who helps us respec any and all of our characters at our camp. Okay, guys, and then there's a room back here with this little creek in it. There's a ladder that you can get up with, and this is how we're leaving this area. Then you're just going to walk straight ahead through the nautiloid ruins again and if you turn to your right then you're gonna find hysterion i'll show it on the map in one second hurry i've got one of those brain things cornered all right maybe i'll see you there okay i have a Good full luck. party so i just sent him to my camp but this is the route that we just took let us right here after going up that ladder okay now you're gonna come up this way Right up to the gates of the Emerald Grove. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Other than blood okay, guys, once you kill everybody, this guy will have the gloves like of this. power. Must be a horde nearby. 
And on hit with a weapon attack, possibility to inflict 1d4 penalties to the target's attack rolls and saving throws. So not too bad for the beginning. And then you're just going to come up here, listen to these guys talk. For our lives. And don't do anything, just watch. Okay, once he has knocked him out, you can sneak and grab the Hellrider's Pride. When you heal a creature, it gains resistance against bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage by weapons. Grab those other few things. There is a trader right here if you just want to sell the stuff that you don't need. I walked away with 375 gold. Not 100% essential. Come over here, talk to this kid. Be very nice because he reappears later in the game if you're nice to him. I bought some red dye off of him. Okay, now moving along down the stairs, there's going to be a little interaction here. You're going to want to do this. La la la, skip through all that. And then you're going to come straight ahead, turn to your right, and come through this stone door. Alright, come down here. Talk this little girl out of trouble. Very well. She may go. Okay, now you're going to come to the back of this little area, talk to her. Just give me a moment. We need to be quick. She's going to lead way. you to this other area. This one had the same problem as you. Okay, so once I you're done talking with her, then you can grab things from this room. Take a closer look. Mind flare parasite specimen. Grab that. You can take stuff from him if you want. And then in the library area, you can come over here to the back. And there's a chest here. Lock pick it. And then read that letter in the book. Okay, that'll start a quest. And then once you come outside, you can talk to this guy. And buy or sell stuff from him. That's up to you. You don't have to. He has some good stuff, but... Okay, now we got 800 gold. And then once you have talked to this girl's parents, they will give you an amulet. I'll feed you to a knoll. Thank you for helping me. Okay, and this grants its wearer the ability to cast Dancing Lights. Okay, so Gale leveled up. And now I'm going to show you guys a trick. So you're going to want Invisibility and hold person these are two very important early spells for a level three wizard okay so i'm just gonna slap those in there okay and this is how you get basically everything for free i don't consider this cheating it's i think it's part of the game but this is how you get everything from any vendor easily you bring one party member over to talk to them and then you switch to your wizard adventurers and then while they're in conversation, you cast Hold Person. Save right here, just in case it doesn't work. Okay, and then you switch to whatever character you want to steal from them. In my case, Hysterion has better chance than I do. So you just keep spamming steal on them, and while they're held, and while you're sneaking, as long as you're outside of the view, you can get absolutely everything you want from them. For free, and you won't get caught. And if someone's like, oh, <laughs> how to cheat, it's like, okay, this is like the one cheating thing if you consider it cheating. In the whole video, trust me, keep watching. The video does not depend on doing this. I just wanted to show people that they can do this. And if you want to restock that vendor's inventory, just go to the camp, just do a partial rest. And when you go back, everything will be restocked. Need anything else? Of course, but please. Remember, Just like that. You're not the only I got a thousand gold. He's got all his stuff back. And if you want to just keep doing it for more gold, you can. Okay, now walking straight out of the Emerald Grove, you're going to turn to your right. Hop up here. Climb up this way. There's going to be a ladder up to this rock. And you're going to want to split your team up so that only one of you walks up there. Into the shadows. Never don't 
Okay. Raphael's going to appear, switch characters, and then attempt to hit him. If you miss, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Okay, now that that's done, guys, we're just coming right over here, just to where we exited the Emerald Grove and went to our right. There's a stone door here behind some vines. If you want to use invisibility just to get past um, this little magic defense, you can do that. Luckily, it didn't even shoot any of my friends. Lucky for me. But right here, there's a chest. There is a key in this cave if you want to find it, but I just lockpicked it. And there's a staff here that you can give Gale. No Alright. Now, heading out the way we came, we're just continuing along right here to the right of the Emerald Grove. We, please, don't leave us. I'm just sending these what two on their way. You can ask them to help you if you want. Doesn't matter. I suppose he'd want us to go on. Okay, so on this guy's body, there is a mind flare parasite, and there is a broken spear piece. So grab that. Grab his food. Send it to your camp. All right, once you've gotten all that stuff, just head down the path. Turn to your right. And come in this cave. Once you're in here, we're just going to be killing this owl bear. All right, you got the other part of that broken spear. When you go into your inventory, you can combine them. And it will give you a half decent weapon. For this early in the game. Certainly a cool looking weapon. Vision of the Absolute. So this is what it looks like. Not for my character, but decent. And in this body here, there is the Oak Father's Embrace. Just has to do with undead and beasts dealing and receiving radiant damage. Okay, and then right after that, you're going to grab this owl bear egg. Okay, and then walk through the cave. You're going to come up to this little chest. There's a statue here. You're going to want to jump across. And then pick up this little note. All right, so once you've picked that up, you're just going to read it right in front of the chest. And it will open. Couple items here. Moondrop pendant. Not bad. Okay, the next... Because they explode. And then, once you kill them all, there is the Wood Woad Shield. Hopefully I said that right. Okay, then you're just going to come over here. There's a chest. And this has the Sparkle Hands. If you're a Fist Melee Monk, these are for you. But, just had to show it because it's right here. And then right on the tree here, you're going to grab the letter. And then after you grab this letter, you're going to go back to the Emerald Grove. Come into the underneath area that we've already visited. Talk to this girl. Save before you do it and make sure that you're well rested. so that Because this is not exactly an easy fight. Okay, so once you kill everybody... You are going to get the Brood Mother's Revenge, which gives you 1 to 6 poison damage on your weapon after healing yourself. So, very decent effect, and it's a necklace. Okay, so now we're just coming back here, right to the front of the bridge. And you can walk into this town. I can smell trouble. There's going to be a bunch of goblins. You're going to have an interaction. You can talk them down or you can kill them. Doesn't matter. But when you do, turn right and then come this way. There's a key right here. Okay, coming over here, you're going to grab these blueprints. They matter later. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, there's a sleeping guy right here. Kill him, free XP. Then you're going to come over here. There's an interaction. I'm not going to spoil it. It's very funny. Oh my god. Okay, then you're just going to come right up here. There's a dagger in this meat. Win a little check. And pull it right out, and that is for Hysterion in my game. Maybe you'd like to use it if you're a rogue, but whatever. Okay, so then you're going to come this way. Jump over these rocks, cross this fence. 
All right, if you kill the main guy, everybody else runs away. Funny enough, I killed him before the speech check, so that worked in my favor, I suppose. He's got a decent weapon, very heavy, great axe. You can give that to Lizel or use it yourself, whatever. Come into the basement here. Then there's this chest. You can grab the speedy light feet. Not bad. All right, coming right out. You're going to want to pull the lever on the left so that he doesn't get flung. Cut, me loose. Cut him loose. He'll tell you about his backpack. I don't give a shit. I don't even know what's in it, to be honest. But whatever. Moving along. You're going to come into this building here. Take a left. And we got this book. Okay, so read that. Journal updated. Finish the masterwork. And then you're going to come here. There's a key. Take the old key. And then come right down to the front of this building. Go inside. And once you make your way through, there's going to be some infernal iron and a unique weapon and a note. The blacksmith's note. So take these things. The sword's meh, but whatever. Okay, there's a chest right here also. And then this is just going to help with uh, those blueprints. Which we'll be covering in another video. The next video, I should say. Okay, so in the center of the town that we're in right here, there's a chest. Got a wagon. Pick this bitch. And then we got the haste helm. Okay, now moving along to this building. We're just going to come through here. You could read this journal right here. And then walk around the front desk into the basement. There's a healing potion recipe right over here. Noise. Okay, so after you do that, there's some crates you can move or destroy to activate this lever. Lever, lever, potato, potato. Once you come inside here, there's going to be a chest that you can dig up. A couple spells. There's a dark journal here. And then coming over here in this, you're going to get a spell called Summon Quest, And you're going to want a wizard character to learn this so you have it forever. Just an extra summonable companion. Then just come over to the mirror. Win a speech check to get inside. Okay, and then once in here, there's uh, some more gauntlets here. And then another chest full of a bunch of different spells. And then in this room, on the shelf, there's a key for the cage in the back. Alright. Separate your party so that you can just jump out of these traps so you don't get killed. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. Okay, jump right out and avoid the traps. And then once you come outside, you're gonna come over here to this house with the three ogres. Tastes like chicken. Be you friend or food. We're friends, we're friends. Make me Okay, and we're going to convince these guys to help us to uh, call them in. And we pay them with the flesh of the fallen. Win that speech check. Notion and a boon to my aching belly. Take my bone horn. One blow and the ground will quake with my family name. Okay, and that just becomes an item that we're going to be using a little later in the video. Lump's war horn. Okay, next up, guys, we're coming to the Blighted Village, and we're just going to walk straight up here, and then come over here, cross this bridge, and then walk up over here to the left. Okay, there's a little town right here. We're just going to be getting a couple items. I don't get every single thing in this town, just the best stuff. So walk up, kick the door in, come up to the very top with everybody, and then use your command drop on this girl. Either you or Shadowheart. She'll drop that weapon. It's a pretty decent weapon. Don't pick it up yet. After you've made her drop it, just come free this girl. And then leave. And then she will give you one of these. Choose whichever one you want. I would say the bow and the staff are probably the best too. 
Okay, and then after you've done that, you can just head back upstairs and pick up that sword that you told her to drop. It's not the best, it's not the worst. You can give it to Lizelle if you like. Okay, now coming through here in the same town, we're just coming to the back. Alright, and then you're just going to come in this way, come through this door. You spot a man crouching between There's going to be a guy here, you can either just kill him and... Or just talk him down, whatever you prefer. Okay, then just come into the basement. And then you can go through here to get the secret accessible cave. You're going to have to pass a speech check, speech check so that they don't attack you, but well worth it. It's a pretty hard fight and there's a lot of traps. So once you make your way all the way to the back, there's some good stuff back here. You can just get Gale to cast a smoke spell. And then you can get Hysterion or whoever to pick the lock so they can't be seen. Alright. You gotta be quick, because once the smoke wears off, they can catch you. And then here is some rare gauntlets. The Abyss Beckoners. Okay, guys. Now, leaving that town, we're just coming over here, down to the left. Okay, now we're going to be getting one of the best swords in the game. game. So, go to your camp. Make sure Lizelle stays here. Check. Or she will fuck it up. Come to this guy. You want a hireling? Very well. Recruit hirelings. And we're going for Vera Sun Blossom. Because she has an ability that's going to get us that sword. And it's the disarming attack. She should have a level or two. Um, and then when you level, level her up, just make sure she has that. Go back. Save your game. Right before you walk up to the gate. Separate her from the rest of the crew after you make her invisible. Okay, and then just come over here. And then once you get in front of this guy, you're going to want to save again. And then use your disarming attack on him. It took me six tries. And then he's going to drop his sword and disappear. At this point, they're definitely going to kill this person. So, but the sword is on the ground. Save again. And then if you want to avoid this fight entirely, because this is probably the hardest fight on the surface, um, then you're just going to want to go invisible and stealthily steal it and get out of there. Just make sure nobody can see you. Oh yeah, and then you can come up this back way. So this is just if you want to avoid the fight. I'm going to show you how to get the fight done with our army of Shreks, those ogres that we just got earlier. So since that girl's dead and I'm down a party member, then I'm just going to bring her back to life at the camp. And that will get her out of there. And then I'm going to send her on her way. And if you just crouch behind this guy, you can get all of your money back from hiring people and respecking. So it's free. Okay, so this is the sword. The silver sword of the Astral Plane. It does 9 to 24 damage and it also does uh, psychic damage. And it works best if a Yankee is wielding it. Okay, so this is how we're going to actually beat this fight. So I'm just getting Hysterion in here, sneaking over here. I'm doing one quick attack to surprise them, so I have an advantage. And then I'm going to be using that horn to call in my backup. So that they can do the bulk of the damage and then I can just clean up. Shreks, attack! Alright, now I'm just going to let the ogres fight it out for a little bit. And then once everybody's health is really low, then I'm going to bring in the team. Get him, boys. Lump, I'm coming for you next. Oh, yeah. 
Only down one ogre so far. That's okay, I wanted Lump to die, so it works out in my favor because he has a crown that I want. Alright. Now we got the team here just to finish up. Jump, attack. Aw, oh, yeah. Okay, so then you're just going to want to search everybody and take all the good stuff. There's a lot of good stuff. So Lump has a spell. He has this crown, which automatically puts your intelligence at 17, which is an amazing item. I pretty much wear this <laughs> up until Act 2, at least. And then we got another good Geth Yankee sword. This is the second best sword on the map. So now me and Lizelle have the two best swords. And this is just a quest item. Not going to get into it right now. And we got another good sword. And then we got two Geth Yankee crossbows. One for me and one for Lizel. Which are basically the best uh, ranged weapons on this map, I'm pretty sure. Okay, do not go travel down the mountain pass, guys. Just wanted to point that out. You'll fuck up the Emerald Grove quest. And yeah. So don't do that. Don't go there. We're going there in good time. So you're just going to come this way and come up to beside the bridge we jumped over. And then you're just going to climb down on the side here. Alright, run along the creek. And then right here we have a ring on a skeleton. Not bad. Plus two stealth, plus two sleight of hand. So that's going on Hysterion. Here you go, bud. Okay, then from here we're just going to be walking along this way and we're just going to be turning to the right and we're going to be getting Carlac. What's up, baby? She looks so hot. Ha ha ha. Okay, coming right ahead, there's going to be a key right here laying in the bush. You take that. And then come straight up. Climb up this ladder, and we're, there's going to be some people in here with some decent items. So just mercilessly kill them all. Get them. Lizelle attack. Okay, so we got the Sword of Justice. Another decent sword. And then come into the basement. And then in here, you're going to want to sit two companions on each of the chairs in here. This is what that key was for that we just found. So once you sit your two companions in the chairs, divide your character and jump over the traps. Because my friends set off all the traps. Alright, and this is a big armory. Tons of stuff in here that you can use or sell, depending on whatever you want to do. Alright. Gold, weapons, potions. And here we got the Gloves of Heroism. If anyone was wondering what that noise was in my video for the last five minutes, it was my cat pawing at my front door and I didn't notice because my headphones were in. Nice. Okay, so we're going to come from the Blighted Village to the left and down and we're headed towards the Goblin Camp. Okay, so there's going to be an interaction here. I would keep things friendly for a little bit just because there's some vendors that have a lot of good stuff. So, coming right into the camp, the first vendor is to your immediate right, just right here. Alright, talk to this guy. Let's see what you got. Sell the stuff that you don't need. Buy what you want. Talk to this guy. Send him on his way. And then we're just coming right down here. So there's a couple things here. Once you get past the speech check. So you're going to come straight ahead first. Talk to the girl over here. And she will give you a brand. And this brand unlocks like a couple pieces of unique dialogue throughout the game. From what I understand. So do it or don't do it. I'm just doing it because why not? It's just another extra thing to have. The brand of the absolute. As pain muddles your 
thoughts, your minds become entangled. A familiar sensation. Okay, so from here, we're just going to come right this way. Come to the right, and then if, apparently if you take your clothes off to do this, it gives you an extra bonus. I'm not really too sure, but either way, just let this guy beat on you and just tell him what he wants to hear. We're going to unlock a bonus for the rest of the game. Ow! Stop, please! Harder! Loviata herself found your performance inspiring. She has deemed you worthy. Okay, of her so now you're gonna get this blessing. Which is permanent. Great. So when you have 30% hit points or less, you gain a plus two to your attack rolls and your wisdom saving throws for three turns. Not bad. Okay, so then you're going to come into the right room here. Room on the right. Win this speech check, get this guy out of the cage, and send him to your camp. And you can get him to, like, shove a pick in your eye so you have a permanent ability, see invisibility. But I didn't do it because I just don't like the way it looks. I did it on my other account. So that's another permanent buff you can get. But anyways, you're going to want to come to the right here. And this is why if you go through the mountain pass, the quest is ruined. Because when you come here later, Halson's dead. So you're going to want to divide your team up. Keep somebody by the stairs for the little two that dash. And just have them spread out. Alright, save before your interaction so that you can load if you need to before the combat starts. Oh, you're also, uh, yes, uh, of course. Uh, 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 uh. Shut the fuck up. Okay, so once you let the bear out, just kill everybody. Got him, boys. Okay, then Hulson will appear. Help me eliminate the Drow Minthara, the Hobgoblin Draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess gut. Okay, guys, now in this room you can get these boots. The linebacker boots. Line breaker, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, and then also over here in this chest, there is the Beastmaster's chain. And then since he asked me to kill the Goblin Leaners and I play as a good character, I'm going to be killing most of them, but I'm going to keep one alive. But before we do that, I just wanted to show you this vendor. This is probably the best vendor in Act 1. She has a lot of good weapons and spells. So before you make your decision and kill everyone here, make sure you go through her inventory and get everything you would like. Okay, now when you guys find Mathara, since I want to be using her in the later acts, I'm just going to be knocking her unconscious. So you just got to steal something in front of her, and then it will say temporary, temporarily hostile, and then just make sure you... The final blow is a non-lethal hit. And you'll know you did it right if when she's on the ground, she's got those spinning stars around her head. And while she's down, you're just going to want to take all the good stuff that she has. Which is quite a bit. Oh, and don't forget to search that chest by the desk over there. I know it has a good item in it, but I just forgot to show it. Alright. If this wasn't on YouTube, she'd be leaving here with nothing on her. Know what I'm saying? Okay, now we got all that stuff. I put her outfit on Hysterion. I've got a long road ahead. Here you go, buddy. It's a decent armor, that's for sure. Okay, now this is just the one of the rooms with the bosses in it. I just separated Hysterion to get a surprise attack and just to have my forces better spread out. Kill everybody here. This guy has some good stuff on him. Alright, he's got uh, some spells, his weapon, and a Mind Flare Parasite to upgrade yourself. Alright. And then up in the stairs in the same room, there's like tons of good stuff over here in the back. You're just going to have to get through this gate. 
And then search this big pile. Not bad. And you also got some Infernal Iron here for Carlax Quest. Gloves of the Glowing Underdog. Growling Underdog, sorry. So, there we go. Okay, this main room, guys, I actually did without even entering combat once. I just broke up my party, and I just went into the rafters with Hysterion, and I just sniped and just kept running behind the pillars on the far side whenever they would climb the ladder. And this is what Gut has. She's got some uh, necklace, a couple unique items, another Mind Flare Parasite. And, yeah. And then over here in this chest, there's some really good spells. Shatter is one of my favorite spells for wizards. So make sure that you give that to the wizard to learn. Speaking of learning spells, I guess I should probably teach him all the ones that I have. Alright, and then once you've dealt with all the bosses, come back and talk to Halsing. I did it! Okay, and then I just went back to the Emerald Grove. Thank you. Don't go to your camp just yet. Just say I'll meet you there. Okay, because we got some Infernal Iron. We got Carlac now. So we're going to do the first part of her quest. So you're just going to want to come over here. And once those guys leave this camp, this guy's no longer here. So that's why I said tell them just to meet you at your camp. All right, Infernal Iron. Thought I sensed an Infernal around here. Mind if I take a listen? Be my guest. Phew! You really are burning up. Please, let this work. There. That feels... Good. Okay, there was something that I forgot to show earlier, and since we're in the Emerald Grove now, we're just going to go do it. So you're going to want to come back under here, where we got the Broodmother's Necklace. And then you're just going to want to sneak and steal something from this guy. So I'm going to talk with my character to distract him, use Hysterion, come over here, crouch, steal, save here. Just in case you get caught. Okay, and you're going to want to take that rune from him. Once you have the rune, just come back into this room over here. And place it on one of the ones that's empty. Combine it. There we go. And then you just have to press on each one of the four. And it's going to open up this area. And then coming down here, there is a unique spear on here. Which has... Uh, an effect that pulls enemies towards you. Sorrow. Has the sorrowful lash. Okay, and then there's a lot of stuff in these chests. Alright, got a unique item here. Robe of Summer. Okay, since we've completed the Emerald Grove uh, quest line, now we can steal this thing without any bad effects. So just place a little smoke cover with your wizard and then just steal it and just leave. Easy as that. And then now we have another permanent bonus for the rest of the game. As long as you have this in your inventory. The Idol of Sylvanus. And it gives you the blessing. It gives you a proficiency in nature and animal handling. Why not? Okay guys, so now we're coming up to the top here. And now we're actually going to be taking that mountain pass route. Just because now we're going to get one of the best armors in the game. And I'm going to go over exactly how to do it. So you're just going to want to save your game before you enter. Use Have Shadowheart on your team. Alright. And then once you get to the camp, Raphael is going to be here waiting. And you need the ability Silence. So just make sure she has that. Then you're going to cast Silence on Raphael. And then you're going to toggle on non-lethal attacks. And then you're just going to give it to him. And it's going to take a while. It might take between 10 and 15 minutes. 
maybe even a little more. But once you get him down to one hit before he's down, save again. All right, because he's down for one second. So you got to knock him out and quickly take everything right there. And that just gave you 1,400 XP and one of the best armors in the entire game. The Hell Dusk Armor. And it's got some really good effects, guys. Some really good effects. Alright, so now we got one of the best swords. We got one of the best armors. And we are looking good. So once we leave our camp, this is where we are. This whole area is actually going to be in the part two of this video, but there is one thing I'm going to grab here. So you're going to come over there, get that fast travel point, and then come over here. There's this girl. She's a vendor. And remember what I showed you at the beginning of the video about getting everything from the vendors for free. So just talk to her while she's in conversation, cast hold person, and then just get hysteria on to do this thieving. All right, and you can just get tons and tons of good stuff from this girl, guys. Tons of stuff. You don't have to do this, but I just wanted to point it out while I was right here. And then once you're done doing this, we're just going to be going back to the normal world. Okay, back to the Blighted Village. Who would have thought? Now we're just coming down this way to the bottom. And we are going after the hag. Okay, so come up to her house. Now that we're ready and suited up. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. La la la, shut up. Okay, she's gonna run away. You're gonna follow her. I'm not gonna be going through everything under here. I'm not here to spoil everything. <laughs> Try not to, anyways. But anyways, when you get up to the fight, save right before you start and make sure you're well rested when you come here, guys, and you got everything you need, because this is definitely one of the more challenging things in the first map all right i'm just moving hysterion over trying to divide my forces a bit and since i made him invisible i'm just gonna let this girl down right off the bat all right all right all right i'm gonna get you out of here i promise Just wanted to see what she was carrying. <laughs> Nothing good. Oh no, I'm caught. Okay, so she's going to divide herself. And I found that this one was the real one. So I just sent all my team after that one. And then if you get her to low health and just wait, she's going to give you this option, which you're definitely going to want to do. She'll give you a permanent bonus. Anything is possible. Just let me keep the girl. And her babe. You're gonna give me the power and you're gonna let that girl go, you fucking bitch. Alright. You greedy little bollocks. Fine. Here. Okay, so now you're gonna get to put plus one on any stat of your choosing. You have my Noise. I'm choosing strength, obviously. I'm a paladin. Okay, and uh, there's actually another permanent bonus down here. But since I let her go, my oath is broken. Which I personally don't care about. And if you don't want to break your oath, then you can just go back to your camp and pay money. Okay, so moving on to the second permanent buff. You're going to come in here. And don't forget to search everything, guys, because there's a lot of stuff, but we're here for one thing. We're here for this wand, Bitter Divorce. Okay, so you're going to take this, and then loot the rest of the room, and then come out the back here, teleport to the surface, and then come and talk to this girl. Do not let her have the wand. Keep the wand, and keep a permanent friend. Even if it's an asshole move. I don't care. Come back to life. And serve me. Okay, so she's going to run away crying. That's fine. And now we got this guy that we can summon anytime we select on the wand. He doesn't last forever, but he's good in a fight to have. Especially if you're trying to distract someone. 
Okay, guys, now we're just going to be cleaning up a couple things left on the surface. Okay, so now I'm just showing you my new abilities because I'm a Paladin Oathbreaker, so it's a little different. But anyways, we're just going to be coming over here into the center of the Blighted Village, down the well. Come and turn to your left. There's some stuff down here you can loot. Ritual Diagram. I don't actually know what that's for. Let me know in the comments if you know. Okay, then there's these spider step boots. Alright, now you're going to make your way down to the end of the cave and just save when you get to this point. And get one of your guys, probably Hysterion, to take out those eggs over there in the distance. It's just going to make your fight much easier. Because when the fight starts, she's going to start activating all these eggs. And it can definitely be a pain. And there's another batch of eggs down here on the left. And then there's another batch of eggs over near where the queen is sitting. But even if you just get one out of the three, two out of the three, it's going to be a big help. So now I'm just killing the spider queen. Nice, nice. Okay, then come down here and walk along the bottom. And there's going to be this little gem for that book that we got earlier in the video. Pick that up. Make sure you save before you do all these speech checks. Read the book. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. Alright, stick the gem in its mouth. And then save now so that you can pass all those speech checks. You're going to have to pass three. Irresistible. Okay. One is 10. One is 15. And one is 20, I believe. You feel claws moving in the shadows. The glyphs scream, branding your mind with strange runes. The book snaps closed. You've seen too much. What profane knowledge is now seared inside of you, you should never have known. So that's going to give us forbidden knowledge. And that gives us plus one bonus to wisdom saving throws and ability checks. So, another permanent buff. Love getting those. Okay guys, now from the top here, we're just going to be coming over down here. Because there was something I didn't get earlier, because I wanted to get the sword first. So, a bunch of guys here. Kill them all. You know the drill. This one, Flind here, has some good stuff. All the rest don't really matter. Alright, so once you kill him, just take this. And he also has a Mind Flare Parasite. For your own upgrades. Okay, now come up to the mouth of this cave. There's going to be a chest right here. And you're going to want to get Hysterion to pick it. And then you're going to take this Iron Flask. This is for something later on in the game. Like, if you throw this, it releases a crazy enemy. And there's a way to make it your pet. In the next part of the game. So just hold on to it. Up here, there's a couple good items. Alright. Pick that. And here we got Reason's Grasp. So, not too bad. Okay, guys. Now, from the Blighted Village, we're just coming up over here. I left it to this part of the video because I just didn't think it was that important. But I knew somebody would be upset if I left it out. Okay, guys. So, just above the Blighted Village here, if you come and talk to this dog and be nice to him, you can send him to your camp. He will come and find you at a later time. Okay, so now we're going back to the Goblin Camp because the best way to get to the Underdark is this way. By far. So, I slaughtered everybody at the camp. This guy's got decent armor. Hide armor. 
All right, now just coming through here. You're going to come straight. Turn to your left. Come through here. Okay, now you're going to have to pick this lock and make your way down. Kill this ogre. And then you're going to come over here. There's a chest. It's got a decent necklace. Amulet of Misty Step. That'll basically let you teleport. And then just come down this way. And we're just going to be grabbing something from this skeleton. There's a spell here. Scroll of Aid. And then you just have to do this little puzzle. And put the dark circles in the light and the light circles in the dark. That's gonna open this up. We'll have to go in to see the Pretty much got every single good thing on the entire surface at this point, guys. So I'm gonna break this up. Um, the Underdark and the Geth Yankee Crash are gonna be a part two to this video. So. Uh... As usual, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Pa 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 peace.